feel like you're ignoring your responsibilities. Something like that. <laughs> it's difficult to explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Must have been painful, considering that was your department. Yeah, I suppose painful is an appropriate way to put it. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Honestly, it's ridiculous to accept all of the blame. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. No matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you just can't win. That's just it, though. They left me to my own devices, and yet I somehow screwed everything up. At least Constellation has been a great success. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> It's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority, but all I want to do authority. is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. You're afraid your absence will cause Constellation to collapse. Yes, exactly. Mm. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Don't worry, Sarah. We'll figure this out together. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. Yeah, I'm fragile. <sighs> you have to understand. Once Aja retired, Gee. I lost the only person that gave a damn. I'll always be here for you, Sarah. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just, I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Well, you have time for that sort Please, of thing now. It's not you, it's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. Rejected like in real life. Why do I not even now. try? But thank you for being there and listening. It helped, it really did. I love you, man. <laughs> you just let me love you. <clears throat> I'm going to flirt every chance I get. Okay, um, we got to go this way. effect on some people. Make sure to get yourself help before it becomes a problem. That's only only 27 years away. I you know, I really hope that we can like colonize another planet. That's just so cool to me. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar's for devil's vets and their kin. Easy now, I'm Vanguard. Heard you might know where Percival Walker is. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong... Andy. You. Why don't you come here and tell me what some Vanguard captain wants with Walker? 
I know the that name. That voice. Aren't exactly your average bar crowd. You can see it in their eyes. We don't belong here. Stray topsider wanders into my bar, asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What do you want with him? Where's that voice from? Oh my god, where is that voice from? Oh, I know that voice. I know it. Where is it from? I'm on official Vanguard business. I need him to look at something. Is that so? Well, Captain, then you should have no problem answering a few simple questions about the Vanguard, right? Like knowing, for example, what Supra et Ultra means. You remember? Your Vanguard motto? Yep. Little star. <laughs> Over and above? I actually forget. I can't, like, I know it's one of these two, but I don't. Let's use this one. <laughs> That's what I thought. You're full of it. Sorry. Can't help you. I knew it was above and beyond. It was one of the two, I knew it. Stray Topsider wanders into my bar, asking after a man like Percival. Is that so? Like knowing for... Hmm, I see. And tell me, what grade was it you got on your entrance exam? A, C, D plus? The Vanguard entrance exam isn't graded like that. That is right. Of course it is. All right, Captain. Maybe you are who you say you are. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Dude, this voice, I know I it from that somewhere. that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. I can't remember, like, what game or... <clears throat> uh... Name is Lou, right? There's no way I'm gonna... Oh, they changed the thing. Hello? One sec. I'm trying to figure out who you sound like. <laughs> Where is the find? Whoops. Find on page, there it is. Gideon Emery. He doesn't look familiar. What did he voice? I mean, then Gideon sounds familiar, but... He did Ioseth. Is that it, then? We done? 
That's who he voices Lorthamar Theron in World of Warcraft. I knew it! I knew it. That's who he voices. He voices Lord. He's Lorthamar. For those of you who don't know, Lorthamar Theron is the Blood Elf leader in World of Warcraft right now. I knew it. I knew his voice. Uh. You and Percival were both Red Devils. Can you tell me about them? Red Devils. With the meanest marine unit the Dude. Navy ever had. Couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian Dusty. Made us tough. Reliable. It's why they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. No other unit could handle that pressure. Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. Science officer. Made sure the monsters behaved themselves around the devils. And didn't with everyone else. But it was those monsters that did us in. I can't when believe it. The colony it, dude. war ended and the <laughs> armistice came down. Everything associated with Xeno weapons got shelved. Red Devils included. Now, ah, now they're just a memory. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec, guys. I should, uh... Add that.
Uh, okay, sorry. You worked with Xeno weapons? Me? Nah. Infantry officer. But my grunts deployed alongside the things. Never oh. seen anything like it. Before or since. Monsters from the darkest corners of the black rampaging across the battlefield. And understand why they banned them. Brutal. Brutal. Armistice hurt us more than most, but... Wow. Wasn't all bad that came out of that agreement. And how would you suggest I go about clearing Percival's name? Well, most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct. If you've got credits to throw away. Which I don't. Of course, rumor is the trade authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If to steal. someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road we should travel. And, uh, one soldier to another. Sidonia's full of old utility tunnels and crawl spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. So, I have to do something illegal in order to complete this quest? If I don't want to spend... <sighs> and I look forward to hearing the good news. What do you want, man? Heard you talking with Lou. So you're going to help Dr. Walker? Y'all just gonna sit around like that was nothing. Oh, it's a particle dead. Okay, this was planned. Okay. Heard you talking with Lou. So you're going to help Dr. I'm gonna try to. Oh, good, good. Oh, Percival's a good guy. Listen. I know how you can do it without having to resort to any B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just <clears throat> garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm Cambridge. I was Percival's assistant. Well, apprentice, really. Couldn't work in the mines anymore, so he gave me a job helping with some of his side projects. Know his experiments inside and out, and I know this one was going to be big. I presume there's a reason you haven't handed it over already? Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started uh. setting up shop. Oh dear. I believe I see where this is leading. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the trade authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. What happened to the jobs on Mars? Biggest employer on Mars has always been Demos Star Yards. 
After the colony war, armistice meant they needed a lot fewer warships. Fewer ships meant fewer minerals. That meant a lot of folks scrounging for work around here. Fine, just tell me where this mine is. Oh, yeah, yeah. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. Kill the spacer leader in the deep mines. Seek a community center representative to plan your... All right, Sarah, looks like we're going to clean out some spacers. Caution. Subterranean particle detonation imminent. Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremor. Detonation occurs in five. That's what I meant to do. 900 meters, huh? Okay, we are going to pick up with this tomorrow.